Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the brand new Belkin Boost Charge Pro 3-in-1 wireless charger with MagSafe. Apple showed this off around the time that it unveiled iPhone 12s with MagSafe and said third-party adapters and things would be available. And so you can see it says made for MagSafe, Apple Watch, and it's finally available, and it charges up to 15 watts. So this comes in at $139.99 and can charge not only an iPhone, but also an Apple Watch and AirPods Pro or something else, I suppose, that you could put on this. So we'll take a closer look at that, but it comes in white and then this variant, which is black. So this came out, well, the other day I picked it up as soon as I could and had it shipped. So let's go ahead and open it up. There was no seal on the box or anything. So let's see what we've got. So I guess we slide this out here like this. Now, compared with the MagSafe Duo, for example, the MagSafe Duo doesn't come with a charger in the box. So you have to buy that and then buy a charger. So it actually is more expensive than this. So let's see, we'll pick this out here. It's kind of heavy, so that, that could be nice for removing your phone from it. And then inside the box, see what we've got. So it's got a little pamphlet showing how to attach the cable to charge it. And then it's showing what you've got here for status lights. So it's showing you what the status of these devices are. So it says, don't put your watch here. Don't put your keys there, but you can put the other devices there. So let's set this aside. Like I said, we've got a charge adapter in the box. So we'll hook that up in just a moment. And then it looks like the other thing we get is just, I guess, warranty information. So yes, it's just warranty. We'll move everything else aside and take a closer look at the charger. So here is the wall adapter. And as you can see, it's just a typical AC wall adapter with this plug on the bottom. Let me take the little rubber band off of it and plug it in. So here's the charger itself. So it's just got this white pad on the left-hand side and the pad, I guess that's it. There's no cover on it. You've got the Apple watch charging side built in with a little cover there. And then we've got a little base plate. Let's take this off. And then we've got another piece of plastic here, it looks like. So let's see if we can get this. Take that off. There we go. So the base plate has a little indentation on it. So that's where you're going to put your AirPods, it looks like. And then it just feels like it's made out of stainless steel. It could be something else, but the base is fairly heavy. And let's go ahead and plug it in so we can try it out. So it looks like we plug it in just like this to the side here and then bring the cable back. And then it should sit flat just like this. So it should sit like that and then begin to charge. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at the magnets. So you can see there's the magnet for MagSafe. We should have one in the center for the Apple Watch. And it doesn't look like we have anything on the bottom, no magnets there. So just the two right here to hold your iPhone and to hold your Apple Watch. So let me go ahead and place my iPhone 12 Pro Max here. Now this should charge at 15 watts when it's charging. So you'll see I'm already fairly close to fully charged, but it should hold that no problem. Then we can take the AirPods Pro here and then stick them in the middle. So it kind of helps align it. You get a little light there. And then let me take off my Apple Watch and see if it can hold it because this is the titanium edition Apple Watch with a Nomad titanium band. It's kind of heavy but it looks like it's holding it just fine. So now we're charging all three at once without any problem whatsoever, and it seems like it's working okay. Now, if you're using a case on your iPhone, whether that be a MagSafe case or not, we'll try it without MagSafe in just a moment, but this is a MagSafe case from Apple, leather case. It holds it just fine, and you can see it's charging. Now, I've removed the Apple case. Let's go ahead and put on just a third-party thin plastic case that we have here and see if it holds. So it holds not as well. It's definitely not as secure, but it will charge. So you can definitely feel there's not as much of a grip on it as there would be if it had the MagSafe case, for example. So you've got magnets in there holding it. It makes it extra strong. So I guess I'd be, use, be aware that you want to be using something that's MagSafe with the MagSafe charger because it might fall off. Now this is 15 watts, like I said, so it should charge at full speed for wireless chargers. And then it's nice just to have a single cable to plug it in with. So nothing else, it will charge your Apple Watch. You'll see everything's charging, including my AirPods. Now, in addition to using this in portrait mode like this and just charging your phone, you can also 
put it in landscape and watch a video. So you can see here's one of my videos on different iPhones and things. You could put it in landscape mode, watch it like this. And they've thought this out to give you enough space between the Apple watch and the iPhone, even if it has a MagSafe case on it with the 12 pro max to fit. So you can watch that however you'd like, and then go back to your home screen, go to bed, whatever you'd like, and you'll be good to go. So it's nice that you've got that option and it will continue to charge no matter what orientation it's in. So it works really nice that way. And then when you want, you just take it off and go ahead. It did leave a little bit of a ring here as well. So just in the time using it, it left a ring. This will just wipe off, but there is a little ring here from using it. So I think this is a really nice alternative to what Apple offers with the MagSafe Duo. That's more of a travel charger. This is really nice for a desk or a bedside stand where you just have something where you can just put it down, charge it at night. And you'll see when I remove this, it doesn't move the whole stand away. So when I pull the phone off it, it's not taking the stand with it. So it does move a little bit when I place it there, but it's not taking the stand as I pull that off, like it does with the MagSafe Duo, for example. And so if you want to charge your AirPods Max along with your Apple Watch, or maybe just regular AirPods or anything else you have that wireless charges from headphones to anything else, you should be able to charge it. Let's try one more thing, see if we can charge a phone here. And it looks like it'll charge a phone if you put it here. Let's see if we put this here. I'm not sure what speed we're charging at, but you could charge two phones if you want. One here, one up here at the same time. So they're both charging if you wanted to do that. So it's a nice little setup, and I think this would be a great addition or an alternative to what you get from Apple. It's just a little nicer, I think, overall, unless you don't want your phone standing up all the time. But again, you could put it right here, and it should charge. And then put your watch here, but your watch band may hit the screen. So that's it for the Belkin 3-in-1 wireless charger. I know I'll be using it. This will be what I charge on most of the time. I picked it up to use for myself. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on the wallpaper I have in this video, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already, though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.